New numbers just into the newsroom painting a better picture of what crews are dealing with tonight following a train derailment at the Port of Tampa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Hurtado. And I'm Jameson Euler. 14. That is the total number of cars that went off the tracks early this morning. And we're also learning that the ethanol leaking from some of the cars is now contained. There are still a lot of unknowns at this hour. The most important one, the cause of the accident. Right now, the cleanup effort is on hold. You're looking live from Action Air 1 over the scene. As we come on the air, the equipment needed is on the way to Tampa. Chris Trankman is live at the scene. Good evening, Chris. Well, the Port Authority continues to limit access in and out of the port because the area where the derailment took place remains closed and under investigation. Now, the train itself looks virtually the same as it did at about 1.30 this morning. That's because crews are still waiting for heavy equipment to be transported in from out of state, which will physically place the derailed train cars back on the tracks. Like a long snake that's lost its way, the train, 88 cars long, had 14 jump the tracks, with several turning on their sides. Three of those cars were tankers, each carrying 35,000 gallons of ethanol that began leaking onto the ground. Well, this is going to be a labor-intensive, time-consuming operation. The highly flammable fuel was quickly doused with a chemical foam. Ethanol is water-soluble, so the heavy rains helped disperse the spill and prevent a fire. Still, firefighters had the threat of thunderstorms during the cleanup. Storms will come into play in terms of, we want, you know, there's lightning or anything like that. We want to make sure our guys are safer as well as everybody else around. While the ethanol has been contained, moving the derailed train cars can't begin until two cranes arrive from Atlanta and Nashville. It's estimated it could take up to two hours to move each car, meaning the rail line won't reopen until at least Friday afternoon. Operations have been slowed somewhat, but operations are still happening. Uh, the port is open. A train engineer and a conductor, the two people aboard when it derailed, were not hurt. The cause of the accident is still unclear, but investigators say it was definitely not because of speeding. The train was going very, very slowly, probably about three to five miles an hour. Uh, so um, what happened here, uh, we're, still not, we're still not sure of. The fire crews say it was fortunate that these tankers were carrying ethanol instead of some other fuel like gasoline, which is highly explosive. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have more on exactly why it's taking so long to get these cars cleaned up and then back on the tracks. We're live in Tampa. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.